Hello everyone, this is Teresa from Tea Time Adventures, T-E-A. Those are my initials, and this is my adventures on YouTube. And today I am taking you across the world to the Andes. That is Peru and Colombia, specifically with the Novica Undiscovered quarterly subscription box. Now this is loosely called a lifestyle subscription box, but I think of it more as a decorative uh, box because you have handmade uh, artisan uh, jewelry and clothing and ceramics, all different types of things for your home, for display, for use. And I am in an open collaboration with four other channels. Now, it's not the collaboration where we all open them up at the same time and we have thumbnails and ads and, and everything like that. This is an open collaboration that um, each uh, content creator will put up their video as, as time permits, and we're each going to link each other's main page. So you as our subscribers can go uh, take a peek to see who has or has not uh, posted their video at this point in time. Now I believe I'm in the middle out of these five channels and I'm just posting mine now a little bit late because I did get these items back in March and here we are halfway through April. Um, now this was the collaboration hostess of this is Miss Jackie Russell and I know for a fact that she has indeed posted her video already. There's also Kim from Kim's Happy Place. I believe she too has posted her video. So for those specific ladies, I will link their specific videos down below. Now there are two other in the collaboration and that is Miss Jessie Miller. And she and I have collaborated on the Mexico. I think it was at the Mexico or the Thailand. Was it Thailand? I'm sorry, Jessie, I've forgotten already. My mind's like a sieve. <laughs> But Jesse and I have specifically collaborated to open up our boxes at the same time and link our specific channels. And then the newest to join our little group is Katie from Katie's Corner of the World. And those two ladies, I do not believe, have made their videos yet. I could be wrong, but I will link their main channels down below. And definitely, you're going to want to check it out because we're all going to pick different things. There are literally at least three levels of choices in this subscription box. And there are at least a dozen items per per, script, uh, per level. You can, I think the primary level, you get to pick one item. And the next two levels, you get to pick two each. And this is approximately uh, a $59.99 for um, five items that have been curated as the best of the best. And then at that time, for a one-time peak only, you get access to their marketplace. This would be the equivalent of add-ons, but you can only peek once. Once you've peeked, if you didn't get it, you can't get back in again. And so I always try and get a little a few items extra, just, and I've got to keep them small too, because I've got a small apartment. Um, so let's go ahead and get into this. They have plain paper this time, but absolutely beautiful piece of cloth as their ribbon. And this is something that um, is beautifully designed. It is colorful. I could use it as a bow in my hair. Um, I could put it on, uh, you know, a, a little end table as a drape with items on top of it. So there are many different uses for it. And they're always like that. So they have this beautiful ribbon, but then underneath the ribbon, there's either fabric. Now some of the boxes themselves have been completely covered in either fabric or artisan inspired uh, and produced paper and I've, I've had a hard time getting the paper off I think the the Mexico box and it was just ripping 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 but I did save a little bit of it um, just for um, prosperity sakes so this is $59.99 per quarter I believe we taxes and everything else they only charge three dollars and ninety nine cents for shipping and handling this stuff came from the Andes They shipped from Peru and Colombia the Andes for three dollars and ninety nine cents that's unheard of I mean heck Ipsy charges what two dollars and that's here in the United States for just a little bag of cosmetics this is a big box 
And there's a few little bits and pieces of tax here and there because I'm in California. I'm not sure if the other ladies have that as well, but I paid a total of $69.23 for the contents of the box and the shipping. But I also got a couple of extra items and I'll go over that as well. But first I am going to, isn't that beautiful? That is just beautiful. And it's got little animals on it. That's just gorgeous. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my goodness. So we'll go ahead and get into the box. It's plain white paper this time, so I really don't mind just ripping into it. Now, they send us to a different portion of the world um, every quarter. And I believe what got me hooked was I saw Jesse Miller open the Mexico box, and it was still in time for me to get that same box. Not the same contents in the box, but that same region of the world. So my first box was Mexico. Then I believe the next was Thailand. Um, and then uh, I got a lot of jewelry on that one. Uh, and then I skipped India just because I didn't, wasn't feeling it. Um, and this time they have taken us to the Andes. Now I have a lot of friends that actually live um, in Colombia and a couple in Peru. So... This is kind of cool to see the art that represents their portion of the world. Seriously, it's, they make it hard to get into, but... Sorry. <laughs> um, get into, but it, it's always definitely so well packaged that you... I've never had to worry about a thing. So, as you can see, it's stuffed in there, and then I've got extra items on the side. So we'll just pull everything out and dump it out. Okay. So <laughs> comes with a little uh, tissue paper that is branded as Novica the Undiscovered. So we'll go ahead and throw that over there. Let's see. Here's my piece of paper. So it comes with a little um, postcard. Gracias por, I cannot read it. Where is this from? The town of Guadalupe, no, Guadape, G-U-A-T-A-P-E, Guadape, lies high above the Lago de Guadape in a fertile valley surrounded by mountains and forests, and it is known for its colorful houses decorated with intricate bas reliefs. This amazing town has great opportunities to explore religious tourism, agro-tourism, eco-tourism, and cultural tourism. So we've got this beautifully done, and it's from the Andes. And uh, this actually is somebody signed it. I can actually see the indentation that the pen made. So that is very cool. All right, let's see if I can find the first item. Yeah. No. <laughs> of course not. It's never going to be the first thing that I pick up. Oops, this feels like it's it. Is this it? Yes. I decided to buy a tiny little sculpture just because it was too stinking cute to ignore. Um, and it is called... Motorcycle Taxi in Blue. This wonderfully whimsical sculpture depicts a common mode of transport in Peru. The motorcycle, motorcycle taxi piled high with merchandise. The taxi heads for market. This is adorable. It is precious. Is that not precious? They're all just hanging out because they're all squished in there. This Look, at you can put your fingers in there too. <laughs> They've got all the goods on top, the little ceramics, the little fabrics, the little pretend window in the back. It is very small. It is very light and delicate. But I thought just their little faces were just absolutely adorable. And I had to get that as one of my picks. Um, I don't know the individual prices because they don't put it on the packing slip, the email, etc. But this is one of my items that I chose from the box itself. So it says, when I was a boy, uh, Juan Carlos Diaz was the artisan. When I was a boy, I spent time in the fields with farmers, in mountain meadows with shepherds, and visited nearby villages and town. All of these memories inspire my work. And so they always give us a little, um, little booklet that tells you uh, 
a little bit about the artisan and what it's about. Okay, the next item is Chakra Flow. Chakra Flow! Chakra Flow, so we get out of that one. This is a gemstone pyramid. I am very much into crystals. Um, and I usually like very shiny, highly polished. Now this is mildly polished, but it's called Chakra Flow. Gemstones of different colors form this petite pyramid that alludes to the seven chakras, or energy points of the human body. I work, uh, Cesar Gonzalez is the artisan. I work in stone because of the beautiful things that can be made with each kind. I like stone's naturalness and purity of color. And so that is that one as well. And this is just called um, Chakra Flow. And um, both the little um, motorcycle taxi in blue and the Chakra Flow are made in Peru. And I just absolutely love this, that there's all three different uh, or multiple gemstones here. Um, I couldn't name them if I wanted to, um, but I just thought that was just, it's pretty, it's petite, um, pyramid energy. Okay, next item is um, Guacamaya's Sunset, and it is made in Colombia. And it's beautiful little coiled basket in shades of pink and orange and blue and I just thought the color combination was very much up my alley as you can see <laughs> didn't plan this I was wearing blue and I love pink and I love orange and I just thought that is just so pretty I do have another little bowl I have one from Greece and it's ceramic I have uh, another one that is um, electronic wires that have been woven into a basket about that size and that one came from Africa so um, yeah I like these tiny little bowls it's got a really if I look at it this way it's just swirls but when I look at it in the camera it's a flower so I think that is pretty awesome and whoops, where is it uh, Guacamaya's sunset inspired by the intense colors traditional to Guacamaya's a little Colombian town Omera Mani Manrique creates a sublime decorative piece from natural materials. Omera, O-M-A-I-R-A, -A, probably pronouncing it wrong, so sorry. Uh, Manrique, the driving force behind my mission is a desire to work as a team. The cooperative was created to improve the artisan's quality of life. Um, and by purchasing this, we do. We do contribute to um, the health and welfare, welfare of small artisan communities around the world. Uh, next item is, and let's see, that was made in Colombia. Uh, the next item is placemats. And they are in aqua and rainbow, a set of four. And again, they are made in Colombia. Um, it says, aqua and rainbow. Bring life to your table with these fabulous set of four placemats featuring a multicolored palette inspired by the flora and fauna of Colombia by Jacqueline Daza. D-A-Z-A. -A. And I picked them just... I never have anybody over, <laughs> quite frankly. So I don't really have dinner guests, but some of the other items I, I wasn't really interested in. Um, but if I ever do have a dinner party, or if I just want something on my altar, or just something on my nightstand, um, it's a, a beautiful, beautiful fabric um, that's lovely woven. Again, you've got the, the round uh, texture of, of the way it's been woven around, I believe, other cotton. So you've got your cotton strings, um, and it's been woven over. Kathak. Alrighty, um, again, made in Colombia. And the last item is called Blue Wind. It is a ceramic ocarina made in Peru. So we have, whoopsie, painted on one side. You've got llama and probably condors in the background. And it's smooth on the other side. And 
Blue Wind, inspired by the Inca pottery found on the Pisac, P-I-S-A-C, probably pronouncing that wrong, uh, archaeological site in Peru, Dioniso Quilla, Q-U-I-L-L-A, I should know that W-L because I have a double L in my name, but uh, Quia designs a beautiful blue ocarina with a llama motif and geometric patterns. Um, thanks to my hard work and my great customers, my children are able to get a higher education. Three of them want to follow their own careers while the other three want to help me. So let's just see. Um, well, I'm not going to be <laughs> very good at this. There's probably a better way of doing this, so maybe... But I thought it was pretty, and it was small, and it's something easily hung up, hung around a neck. Um, so very, very pretty. Okay, I think the last item is a treat. Um, they usually do. They always come with a booklet um, that tells a little bit more uh, about the region or about what's going on. Um, yes, so they've got uh, Omera right there. And it tells a little bit about um, the items. You can see the, the bowls right there. Um, and so it tells about the region of uh, Guacamayas and the region of Peru and Colombia in the Andes. Now, they always send a little special item, and it's not listed on anything. So I'd be surprised what it is. Oh, my goodness. That is freaking adorable. Oh, my gosh. A tiny little, like, dark siege green ceramic. Whether you call it a picture, a vase, that is just too sweet. I love that. I truly do love that. Whether it could hold a tiny little daisy inside, I don't know. Um, it has a very, very tiny hole right there, so maybe it wouldn't hold a flower. But just as a miniature, I just love that. I absolutely love that. So, wonderful little gift. Now, the next three items were my add-ons. Um, let's see. The first one's the biggest one. And those who know me know that I do not follow a traditional religion. I am not Christian. I'm pagan. Um, but, again, something called to me, and I wanted another piece of sculpture um, from the Andes. So, the first item... of a nativity is baby Jesus. Baby Jesus, baby Jesus in a manger. Absolutely adorable. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Away in a manger, little hat, little diapers, little manger, part one. So then of course, I mean, he can't be sitting there all by himself. No, 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 he cannot because he has to have the animals with him. You've got a donkey. I think it's a cow. Spotted, so it's a cow. So those are, again, totally adorable. Because he can't be alone. He can't be by himself. No, no, no. I've got to be very, very careful with these. Because did something break? Did something break? I don't know if something broke. I got two little pieces of something, and I honestly don't know what they are because they appear to be broken off of something. Or am I supposed to glue them on? Nope. They broke. They broke. The angel got broken. The angel's wings have fallen off. And I don't know if they can do anything about that. Uh, maybe they can be glued on, but the angel's wings have broken. And this is our angel with his little hands in prayer. With the little angel wings have fallen off. I don't know if I can repair that myself. I honestly don't know. Um, I'm going to say no, I cannot. And here I said they were very, very careful. So here you have Joseph. And you have Mary. And again, I just thought they were the sweetest little things. This is probably the only thing close to a nativity that will ever be in this apartment. And they were just absolutely adorable. And I couldn't resist them. So, 
You got baby Jesus, mama and papa. You got a little donkey. You got a little cow. And you got an angel whose wings have fallen off. So I'll have to uh, let them know that I've just... I've had it for over a month, so maybe there's nothing that they can do at this point in time. Um, maybe I can be glued back on. We'll see. Um, and the Dictivity was uh, $20 um, extra. Let's see. Last two items is I bought two ceramic necklaces because I did want something that was wearable in uh, beautiful colors. And they are two ceramic necklaces. It was two for the price of one. And um, the first one is in blue. So, same on both sides. And a little bead. Little woven necklace that easily goes over the head. And then its counterpart, which is in orange. And this is called Rain and Sun. So, you've got the bright orangey red of the sun with black and gold. Um, those were ceramic pendant necklaces, sun and rain. A pair of them total was $11.90. And then the last item was um, earrings, which has just slipped out. Where are they? Um, different one. And these earrings are... Hi, Dara. Uh, leaf drops in aqua, mesmerizing in aqua. Are you coming up or not? Well, come up. Natural hydrangea leaves. Come up, will you? Come on. Up, up. Or then, okay, we'll go away then. Um, natural hydrangea leaves reveal fascinating veins. Uh, Jose Luis Perona, P-A-R-I-O-N-A, -A, sets them in sterling silver for modern earrings with the appeal of nature, acrylic on both sides protects and preserves the dried leaves. Jose Luis Pirona. After working with my uncle, I still hoped that one day I'd go back to crafting jewelry. I felt as though my heart was saying, come on, Jose, you have to do this. And I'm gonna go ahead and take them out. I think they're multi-bagged. Oh, they always have one that is out and one in a bag. So let me see if I can show you. It's hard to do. Can you see the veins? I don't know if you can see the veins of the hydrangea leaf. No. Well, they're tiny little hydrangea leaves. <laughs> and blue hydrangeas are my favorite. Um, pink is fine, purple is fine, but the blue hydrangeas um, really, really have always caught my eye. I would love to have a hydrangea brush. They can go a bit wild. Um, <laughs> so they come times, sometimes instead of being a bush, they become a hedge. So uh, I pick those because hydrangeas are one of my probably top five favorite flowers, especially the blue ones. So that was it. Um, let's see, the um, leaf drop earrings were $17. So that is it for Novica the Undiscovered, the spring box for 2023, $59.99, $3.99 shipping all the way from the Andes in South America. Oh my goodness. And again, I'm going to redirect you to the ladies that have already posted their video, which is Miss Jackie Russell, our hostess. Um, and in this open collab, we also have Kimmy from Kim's Happy Place. They have both posted their videos. I'll be the third out of five. Miss uh, Jessie Miller and I have collaborated individually on the Thailand box from before two boxes before. Um, and we have Katie from Katie's Corner of the World who will be joining us, I believe, this time. Now, there's talk that for the next season, the summer season, we may try and see if we can all get together and coordinate a true active collaboration where we've got, uh, you know, an ad and, and uh, you know, have the, the playlist down below. But that's in the works. And honestly, they don't exactly ship on the same time, depending what each individual creator has picked for their own individual um, subscription box. So we're all going to have different things. There might be, uh, you know, one here or there that, that might have the same item. But for the most part, we're picking for our personal preferences. And we 
individualize every step of the way. It's absolutely lovely that way. So um, you get multiple choices per level. Your premier item, you get one of. Your secondary level, you get two that you get to pick from of at least a dozen items, sometimes more. And your third level, you also get to pick three items. Now, at Mexico, I went completely crazy and did a lot of ceramics. Thailand, I went crazy and buy a lot of jewelry. So I'm trying to keep it small because I do have a small apartment and it can get a little bit tight in here. So thank you everybody that has come by to join me in this a little bit long video. So hopefully you'll stuck, stick around <laughs> for all of it. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time that you spend with me, whether it's five minutes, 20 minutes, the whole shebang, whatever it is, I appreciate it. So thank you so much. Please take good care of yourselves. Please take good care of each other. And I will see you around the net. Bye.